chapter 13. David consulted with all his officials, including the generals and captains of his army. Then he addressed the entire assembly of Israel as follows. If you approve, and if it is the will of the Lord our God, let us send messages to all the Israelites throughout the land, including the priests and Levites in their towns and pasture lands. Let us invite them to come and join us. It is time to bring back the ark of our God, for we neglected it during the reign of Saul. The whole assembly agreed to this, for the people could see it was the right thing to do. So David summoned all the people of Israel from one end of the country to the other to join in bringing the ark of God from kiriath Jearim. Then David and all Israel went to Beala of Judah, also called kiriath Jearim, to bring back the ark of God, which bears the name of the Lord who is enthroned between the cherubim. They transported the ark of God from the house of Abinadab on a new cart, with Uzzah and Ahio guiding it. David and all Israel were celebrating before God with all their might, singing and playing all kinds of musical instruments, lyres, harps, tambourines, cymbals, and trumpets. But when they arrived at the threshing floor of Nekon, the oxen stumbled and Uzzah put out his hand to steady the ark. Then the Lord's anger blazed out against Uzzah, and he struck him dead because he had laid his hand on the ark. So Uzzah died there in the presence of God. David was angry because the Lord's anger had blazed out against Uzzah. He named that place Perez Uzzah, which means outbreak against Uzzah. It is still called that today. David was now afraid of God and asked, How can I ever bring the ark of God back into my care? So David decided not to move the ark into the city of David. He took it instead to the home of Obed-Edom of Gath. The ark of God remained there with the family of Obed-Edom for three months, and the Lord blessed him and his entire household.